Hello everybody, welcome to the video. Today we are going to be trying to match the Super Motocross playoffs. You guys don't know what that is. Our sport had a huge merger in real life between Supercross and Motocross, and they made a playoff series out of it called the Super Motocross Playoffs. And what it did is basically you combine the best features of both Supercross and Motocross, put it into one track, and we're here on MX Bikes. It, just gonna try to ride it. We're gonna use deformation. We're gonna try to master the act of Super Motocross. Hopefully you guys enjoy. It should be a pretty fun video. Let's get right into it. First things first is bike setup. So I'm going to try to take my super cross setup because it's more super crossy and try to modify it throughout the time here. We're also on 1.4 deformations. We'll see how this all goes. We'll spin a couple laps. My goal here is try to just like improve my lap time, try to get it to the point where I'm like really smooth on the track and kind of can tell what's coming and whatnot. Good news is I really haven't played these tracks too, too much, but enough to know like the basis of it. I know that uh, this right here is probably not the preferred line if I had to guess or probably wasn't in MX bikes like pro competition but I did play this one long enough to know that this could be launched into here probably not that far and you could definitely do some fun stuff through here and then back here I can't remember okay I was gonna say this is the turning double I didn't know how much it turned in uh in the game because it definitely turned a lot in real life and then you could actually double across here just didn't really get the the run I needed so first lap coming around it's a 136 I know it says that I have another lap under but I accidentally crossed the finish line and I had to tweak some volumes and put on Spotify no. <laughs> I had to start the, the music because honestly, I think that uh, I'll be here a while. Looks like deformation from the first lap's pretty insignificant as I'll try to just hop up into here and just still went a little too far. Can we backflip on? I, not exactly, but we still landed it. And here's the double across I was talking about. Very nice over that. And then probably go to this outside and probably could land somewhere like right around here. And then I know actually there's a nice little like side passage over there that might be a little lower than everywhere else. Like I said, we're seeing really no real effect here from the deformation. I'm gonna have to take the shorter route over here. This is probably the faster line anyways we'll see how fast i can get it not the fastest here definitely consume oh god i thought we were gonna ride the front wheel there for sure Supercross setup is working that I'm using right now. It's uh, it's working quite well, but it's not like the best thing ever. I might have to soften it up uh, here and there. See how fast we can take the sweeper this time around. Bully pin, just need to make sure that we hit that rut and then do a good job getting over that nice and straight. I'll try to shift down as much as I can here. Get that, uh, that triple on, off. Probably won't go for much more after that. Had a little hiccup in the middle of this section. Oh no! Yeah, the setup, the more I'm using it, the real, like, the more I realize it's a little bit more bouncy and stuff than it really should be. It's not really uh, taking to some of the things as great as I thought it would. Watch this. Zoom. That was a nice scrub, but can we keep it up? Kinda. Oh no. Our laps kind of aren't counting. I mean, I can see why. We're all over the place right now. This has been the best way through this section and to finish off that that dragon's back there. That seems to be uh, the, the best way I can find so far. Ooh, that felt really clean right there. That was kind of nice. Still can't get that triple on off. And we're going to eat the dirt. It's the biggest piece of dog shit. All right, we have officially softened up the spring just a tad. Oh, I was scared of overjumping that, actually. This might be a little quick to judge, but I'm actually loving this new suspension. It's working really well for this sort of a track right here as we'll try to shift down as much as we can here because want to try oh that front end just gets bucked up so high right there. Let's try this outside up here. Love that. Still can cross slant you down. I'm gonna try to like get some sort of uh, different rhythm through there. It looks like it's pretty much all the same. And if you guys are curious why I'm not letting you guys see the setup is because it's for a video. So keeping it under wraps for now and it's still kind of a work in progress sort of thing. So I don't want to give you guys some like bad setup and then uh, get bashed for it. Looks like the uh, E-Road's leaving a little bit of a mark in the track now or a little bit of a dent as that corner is getting a little, little interesting as well. I'm gonna have to take the short side here. That jump kind of, there's like a longer side and a bigger side. Like I had to, I had to go short there kind of over jumped that first little bit front talk go down to first gear here pick it up in second we need to do something about this drivetrain we've shortened the gears up now so second gear will probably feel a little bit more like first but that might be what we need with enough uh, engine braking to power us over that jump that uh, we struggle with a little bit so we're gonna still try to jump across here I've been spending plenty of time in third gear as well so that shouldn't really dent that too much as we're gonna go ripping around here go fourth gear I'll even 
shift up to fifth now that we have like shortened up our gears a little bit and then we go down to first here and still doesn't really engage in time but i definitely need to take that roller better there's there's better ways and here's the best way up that freaking dragon's back and i'm gonna try this outside here again try to like launch off that the best i can and instead we get off oh there's a little hip there i like that hip i might have to try to double in or something get a nice slingshot just to screw <laughs> I'm not even saying scrub at this point. Just turn into scrub. And yeah, look at that rut right there. Have a nice like little whip here, I guess. I don't know. e road's starting to kick in here, but there we go. There's a way over it. Get up there on second gear. Up here, go third. Try to get the quad out. Do a good job. Not good enough. Stay outside. You see the hip right there to my right? Dude, that would be quite a bit of fun. Can we get to the top of that? There we go. Second gear on, go third gear off, clear this triple nice and easy. Should have that nice out there. Get over that somehow. The double across line, of course, we have to do that. And then oversteer a lot there. So yeah, this one's a 132.7. I think we can drop it more. There we go. That's a nice run through that section there. I was hoping I could get that dragon's back to close it out. Jump to this outside. Get that nice and clean. Not try to oversteer. Just stick in this like little area, that rut. Acceleration over that. Yeah, 133.48. That should be my best for sure. Yep, that is going to be my best easily on the uh, the finals round there. And now on a track like this, if you guys don't know which track it is, it's uh this one right here. So there's a starting line. You kind of head up this way. You have a nice like little in back out and forth and just some like draggy stuff here and there. It's nothing like real crazy. This is probably uh, my favorite part over. I mean, it's not even rendered in, but over here is definitely my favorite part i'm gonna start on the motocross setup though for sure and first lap commencing right i don't know is that the word for it me el stupido this one will have a nice little like triple triple double through there i know this one kind of curves right i've spent some time on this one as well just not as much as the others and this in the motocross setup seems to be definitely the move on this one very nice and i like my uh, motocross setups a little bit more stiff as well <laughs> You got me. <laughs> and here we go. We get my favorite part where you can just hop up here and then just absolutely hammer in through here. And then there we go. And we still landed it. It wasn't the cleanest, but we still landed it. Up here, this is like this weird section. And then you can kind of pop up and then jump back down, head to this outside, come back around, head to this inside. Okay. Oversteered a little bit. Having that issue right now. I couldn't show you guys the jump this time around, but there's this fun like launch area where you can kind of jump into and have your fun with as well. But there's a jump to make that even better. I'll, I'll definitely have to hit it for you guys. And it said I never got a lap to count on here, which is very peculiar. I'm curious if I'm doing something wrong because I just don't think I've ever had a lap count on this. I know I haven't. At least that's saved. And that, that trend will continue. I was clearly within the lines all lap and I couldn't figure out what I did wrong. I don't know why I make the sounds I do. It's just like kind of the only things I can think of when I when I go down as I'm about to crash again. And there's also another way you can kind of go through this. You can just try to jump as far as you can through here. There's a, like a way you can kind of rhythm it out though. We'll go inside here just to set us up better for the outside around here so we don't really have to worry. No way! Daddy, chill. For those of you who watch the channel quite often, you know, every time I try to show you guys something or set an example or, or prove something, it always has to go wrong the first like 19 times. So basically, fourth gear, you can send it and reach this roller. How did I still not reach it? This is bullshit. And here we go. We should have an okay run at it now, right? Fourth gear, just send it. There we go, finally. And then you can get the, the triple pretty easily through here, triple and then double or just jump as far as you want, honestly. Oh my god! I don't know what the best way through the sand is, so that's kind of the, the purpose of this right here. Just kind of soul searching as I'm trying to find my way through, and I'm doing a great job in my opinion. Slam into this right here, go fourth gear, try to keep up with uh, one of those berms. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Jump it down. Yep, you guys already know I'm going for it. Do it every lap. Oh boy, this one's a little far left. Need to fix that land in there. We still get the triple in. We can't. If this lap doesn't count, I don't know what will. I've been riding kind of pretty center, actually. I haven't gone too far out of the lines here. And yep, no lap time counts. All right. Good to know. Good to know. Dude, I'm serious when I tell you this motocross setup is really hitting the mark on this, uh, this sort of track right here. 
Try this inside. No, <laughs> why? I'm trying to give you guys the jump in line here. We jump, jump, jump. Oh shit. We'll have to miss it. This lap kind of messed up the corner. Just a tad. Ooh, what a way to take a tabletop, by the way. Ready for this nasty scrub go wheelie to scrub here. Land in a wheelie, couldn't, because I'm that good. That just like I'm that I'm that fundamentally sound. Never mind. And can we get through the sand very nice again? We do a good job there. Coming to the outside. Burn around there. Go inside second gear. Do a good job getting over that roller. We'll go inside here for the, the shits and giggles. That needs to be better, bro. I need to be better, but that needs to be better too. Nope. I, I don't know why. I just keep sending it. Like, what? All right. We'll have to focus up here on this lap. They're saying it's lap number four. I think I'm finessing the game then because this is definitely not lap number four. On a pretty good lap here, I'm going to stop talking because I can't afford stuff like that happening. As we'll try to get up and over this right here. But it's a little bouncy. Head down to this outside. Just kind of make or break a hot lap right here. And it looks like we broke it. Get up and over this. And like I said, we're going to have to focus up here. We need good laps here. Giving us... Wow, we actually almost quadded over there. Oh, that's just so fun. That, that sweeper right there. And then did a great job getting over that at the right angle. Oh, inside here. Try to at least hook it a little bit. Got to get a nice run here through the sand. As we have in the past. I'm going to go inside here, though. Try to cut off some of the track. And then go to the outside, keep our balance, do a great job slowing back down, picking up the speed. We're on one right now. Doing a great job through there, that's very nice. Go back down here, gonna bank off of that. Not the hardest, but definitely want to set myself up for greatness here. I think we should still be able to get it, actually. It's gonna be very close. No way. Let me land it. No! <laughs> Well, it's un unentertaining. Can I talk? It's unentertaining anyways, because like, I, we don't really have a lap time to gauge. So I, we could just move on to the next track, I guess. And with this one, I'll probably just go with the sole Supercross setup. Nothing uh, mixed or anything. I don't think we need much of that. So we'll just stick to the Supercross setup. First lap in the LA Coliseum. I take it back. I probably have played this one the most, but it's still not a whole lot of play time on it. And then the highlight of the track for me is this little like downhill right here. And then trying to hop into there, get a smooth line going. But hey, shout out to the Supercross setup. Good enough uh, suspension to keep me alive there. I might actually have to stiffen this one. Uh, it's doing a good job. But once we get to E-Road, we might have a little bit of issues. Had a bit short on that. And that'll lead us to be short on that. <laughs> on to our second lap, ne? And we're up and we're down. We got that one pretty good that time around. Here we go. Got a nice run. Clean, clean scrub over that. I guess that'd be more of a hip jump than a than a scrub. Like right here, if you go fourth gear, hug tight enough, and then just like get that line, that's nice. But I'm talking about this right here, where you can kind of just like do that sort of thing. Like that is a lot faster than the other way. So we're up to a 130 lap time now. That's that's good. <laughs> If you guys don't know, that's probably not good if I had to guess. Typically, you could probably just go over here and just go triple, triple, slow down and hit this single like this. It works out well when you have traction. This one's definitely the shortest track out of them all, but this one I think I probably will have the most problems, like, I don't know, really establishing. Let's go fourth gear, come across. You guys have seen this. Uh, multiple times now, but still, still just fun to do and fun to show. I'm going to try a different line out here. I'm going to go here. Try to snag this inside and just couldn't. And this possibly will be our best lap. It is by like a whole second somehow. I think I'll stick to this inside here and then probably just try to snag like the top of that right there. I don't know. It's weird right now. I'll probably got to find a better line through there regardless, but probably just for now stick to something like that. What the f squiggles and squaggles? Oh no. All right. Now comes our best effort to get a good lap. What the fuck? Okay, wait, that last lap never happened. Doing good. Let's see how far we can jump up this. Normally when you get to like a little bit above there, it comes out a lot better than anything else. So we'll try to get up and over that. No way, dude. I thought I got it more than enough. I'm not against this outside either. All right, maybe I am. Another lap, another dog shit time, I'm sure. This lap's shocked anyways. Yeah, give me the squiggles and wow, what a save. And we'll start another lap now as we brought it down to a 125.3 with that last lap somehow. We did it again. There's a rut. 
No. Oh my god. Imagine we landed that. There's like a little rut on the lip there. Ooh, I had that absolutely dialed. And onto another lap now. Ooh, very nice run through there. Unfortunately, we kind of had a sloppy start to the lap, so I don't really expect this one to be, like, all that quick. Plus, we can't just clear that anymore. We just, like, literally can't. Oh, my lord. Literally can't clear it anymore. Like, actually. What? Dude. Like, are we joking? This lap won't count regardless because we didn't even pass the first sector of whatever. So I'm just going to go balls to the wall and see what the results are. Um, Obviously, a good line there, but I don't really know. We could probably go third gear here now since the ruts and stuff. Do a good job getting over and judging that. We get that back end pretty far out. Want to make sure to lean back a little bit and jump towards the top there. And that's kind of the target area you want. We'll hop into here and watch this. This is giving me my one burner that doesn't get interrupted by something and I'm not going to be able to make it but that's fine take the scrub try to jump over in as much as we can tire tap at least try tire tap attempt go third gear up over this one go back down to first gear make sure to hug that pretty tight and we want to come in here go second gear land that first gear break up to it second gear now bull corner double double pretty much it's not even like a dragon's back kind of stay lower force that front wheel down didn't mean to cross back across set us up nice for a little scrub that we couldn't get it was an unsuccessful scrub we go triple and scrub and well gonna try to scrub good out of whack though then go around second gear oh that one counted and it's a 121 8 we'll give it our last attempt here just really try to uh, put in something of uh, of, uh, of effort. I can't even talk. No way we had that. Oh no, we had a scrub over the table to launch in. You know how good that would have been. And never mind. Now we're on our last attempt. How about that? We'll, we'll just yeah. I mean, duh. Headed outside here, try to get over that. We do an okay job at it. I'd say that's passable. And then do a horrible job getting through there. Go up a lot too high. This lap's not gonna be good no matter how well I hit the rest of this course. I mean, I can try to scrub as hard as I can over literally everything. First gear, go second gear. Try to just send the corner speed. Give it the Deacon send, go scrub. Get that front wheel down, get all the way over that. Try to get over this as clean as I can. And then, no, we couldn't stick the freaking rut. That was going to be the best corner of them all. Wait, 21-4. Did we hit a 21-8 earlier? What was that? So that just counted as a lap. You got to be joking. A track reset? I track reset and got it. And what the f That is three seconds fast. That's broken as hell. I did it anyways, though. So that'll be all for me. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed, go ahead and consider leaving a like. Go down, subscribe. Go watch any of the past content on the channel. I guarantee you will enjoy it 100%. That'll be all for me. Thank you guys for watching. Deuces.